Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit four, lesson 10, tax and tip. Problem number one. In a city in Ohio, the sales tax rate is 7.25%. Complete the table to show the sales tax and the total price, including tax, for each item. Since the sales tax rate is 7.25%, we need to multiply the price before the tax by 0 0.0725. $8 times 0 0.725 equals 0 0.58 or 58 cents. For the total price, we need to add the price before tax plus the sales tax. $8 plus 58 cents equals $8.58. The total price for the pillow, including sales tax. Let's do the same thing for the blanket. $22 times 0 0.0725 equals 1.595, which can be rounded up to $1.60. $22 plus $1.60 equals $23.60, the total price including tax for the blanket. And finally, let's do the same thing for the trash can. $14.50 times 0 0.0725 equals a sales tax of 1.05125 that could be rounded down to $1.05. Add the price before tax plus the sales tax and you get $15.55, the total price including tax for the trash can. Problem number two, the sales tax rate in New Mexico is 5.125%. Select all the equations that represent the sales tax T you would pay in New Mexico for an item of cost C. This information tells us that the sales tax rate in New Mexico is 5.125%. We can get rid of the percent sign and make this number 100 times smaller, which is what I'm doing when I'm moving this decimal two places to the left. Now the number reads 0.05125. This is the decimal value that's equivalent to 5.125%, the tax rate in New Mexico. We can multiply this number times C, the cost of an item, to find the tax that we would pay for an item in New Mexico. Let's take a look at equation A. T equals 5.125C. That's going to be 100 times too big, so I will not pick that one. Equation B. T equals 0.5125C. That decimal is 10 times too big, so I'm not going to pick that one either. Equation C. I recognize this decimal. T equals 0.05125C. This is the correct decimal, so I would pick C. Equation D. The tax is going to equal the cost divided by 0.05125. Now that number is going to be way too large to represent the tax, so I'm not going to select D. Let's look at equation E. Do you see the 5.125? That's the same number that was in equation A, and I said that that was 100 times too big. But this time, they divided it by 100, which makes it the right amount. So I would select equation E, T equals 5.125 over 100 times C. Problem number three. Here are the prices of some items and the amount of sales tax charged on each in Nevada. A, what is the sales tax rate in Nevada? We can determine the sales tax rate by dividing the sales tax by the cost of the item. In this case, 0 0.46 divided by 10 or 46 cents divided by 10, making it 10 times smaller than 46 cents. That equals 0 0.046. Since we're finding the tax rate, we need to turn this into a percentage by making this number 100 times larger and putting a percent sign on the end. The sales tax rate in Nevada is 4.6%. B. Write an expression for the amount of sales tax charged in dollars on an item that costs C dollars. We can go back to the information that we discovered working out problem A. The decimal value 0 0.046 times C, the cost in dollars. 
This expression represents the amount of sales tax charged in dollars on an item that costs C dollars. Problem number four. From seventh grade unit four, lesson nine. Find each amount, 3.8% of 25. You could always multiply 0 0.038 times 25 to find the answer, but I like this one for a different reason. 25 is four times smaller than 100, so the answer will be four times smaller than 3.8. 3.8 divided by four is 0 0.95. 3.8% of 25 is 0 0.95. Again, you'd get that same answer if you multiplied 0 0.038 times 25. 0 0.2% of 50. You could find this amount by multiplying 0 0.002 times 50, but I like this one for a different reason. 50 is half of 100, so this answer will be half of 0 0.2, and half of 0 0.2 is 0 0.1. 0 0.2% of 50 is 0 0.1. Again, you get the same answer if you multiplied 0 0.002 times 50. 180.5% of 99. This one's probably easier just to multiply 1.805 times 99, but there is a different way. 99 is one less than 100, so this answer will be 1 hundredth of 180.5 less than 180.5. 1 hundredth of 180.5 is 1.805. So we need to subtract that from 180.5. 180.5 minus 1.805 is 178.695. And that's the same number that you get if you multiplied 1.805 times 99. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit four, lesson eight. On Monday, the high was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. On Tuesday, the high was 18% more. How much did the high increase from Monday to Tuesday? We need to find 18% of 60. And we can do that by multiplying 60 times 0 0.18. 18% of 60 is 10.8. The increase in temperature from Monday to Tuesday was 10.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Problem number six from seventh grade unit three, lesson four. Complete the table. Explain or show your reasoning. This table has three columns. The name of the object, the object's radius, the object's circumference. To find the circumference of a circle, the formula is circumference equals two times radius times pi. And we can use 3.14 for pi. So it'll be circumference equals two times radius times 3.14. Let's start with the first object, the ceiling fan. 2.8 feet times two is 5.6. That was two times the radius. Now we need to multiply 5.6 times pi, or 5.6 times 3.14. 5.6 times 3.14, and the circumference of the ceiling fan is approximately 17.584 feet. We can round that to approximately 17.6 feet. Let's do the water bottle cap. The radius is 13 millimeters. Two times 13 is 26. Now we need to multiply the 26 times pi or 26 times 3.14. 26 times 3.14 is 81.64. So the circumference is approximately 81.64 millimeters. We can round that up to 81.7 millimeters. For the bowl, they've given us the circumference. The circumference of the bowl is 56.5 centimeters. So now we have to figure out what the radius is. Let's look at the circumference formula. Two times r times pi. The order of multiplication doesn't matter, so we can switch it to two times pi times r, or two times 3.14 times r which is equal to 6.28 times r. 
since the circumference is equal to 6.28 times r, then the circumference divided by 6.28 equals the radius. To find the radius of the bowl, we can divide 56.5 centimeters by 6.28, and that'll give us the radius. We can round this number to nine centimeters, so the radius of the bowl will be approximately nine centimeters. And finally, let's take a look at the drum. The circumference of the drum is 75.4 inches. 75.4 divided by 6.28 equals 12.006 and so on, but we can round this to 12 inches. The radius of the drum is approximately 12 inches. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.